Good morning, everyone. Um, as promised last week, I said I would put together a tutorial on content marketing and um, hopefully help you guys make a lot of money. Um, so who should be here? Um, anyone that wants to just grow their own personal brand, whether you want to be an influencer or a photographer or whether you want to travel the world and create content, um, whether you're stuck in a rut as a photographer or videographer or writer, whether you are a marketing manager, CEO, or anyone who wants to take their business to the next level, um, I really hope this is useful to a variety of people. Um, I truly believe if you do what I say and you apply your mind to it, you will be successful. Um, a little backstory of, of mine, I've got no marketing or photography or video background. Um, I studied applied maths and actuarial science at University of Witwatersrand. I've got an honors in applied mathematics and economics. Um, so this is completely out of my field. I went straight into my field. I worked and um, I ended up working at a variety of places. Um, Rand Merchant Bank, Stand Bank, CRB Africa, Old Mutual, Capitech, Direct Access. There's been a whole bunch of places I've worked. And I mean, I studied up to CFA. I was writing CFA level three. So I've got a fair amount of knowledge outside of this field. Um, and then Instagram came along and I created a business called So Community. And with that, stuff changed. Um, I never thought I could make any money. And this is why I never did something creative. I thought I had to work in, in finance or whatever to do well. And to be honest, I did way better being creative in a creative industry than in finance. Um, I've never been a big money person, but there is a huge amount of money to be made. There is a lot. I've traveled around the world. I've gone to over 40 countries because of what I've done. So this is my blueprint. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you use it. Take what you like, leave what you don't. Um, but I hope you enjoy this journey. So I'm going to try to do a couple of these. Um, but I just more want to teach you how to be successful in this. And to be honest, you could have probably apply this to anywhere. Okay, let's get straight into it. Um, so Community is my company. Um, I started, I've got some incredible people that work there. I consider us the best at what we do in the world. I don't feel there's any people that, um, besides the guys that work at So Community that can, 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 that can create content the way that we do. I truly believe that. And it's not because we are the best photographers and videographers. Yes, we are incredible at that. But it's more than that. Um, and let me tell you why. So... The slogan or the saying or the catchphrase that I create for So Community is, what is your why? And some people get that, some people don't. Sometimes I have to explain it. Um, so what is your why? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why should you do this video? What is your purpose? Everything I do is calculated like beforehand. It's not just run and gun. So, it may seem that way, but everything's got meaning. So what is your why? What do you want to achieve? Do you want to get, what's your end goal? Until you've established what your end goal is, you can't really create a proper strategy. So determine what is your why? Everything from, and everything should feed into that why. So if you want to make a lot of money, then, you're, then, then you have a goal, you create strategies and goals to make a lot of money. If your goal is to travel around the world, Everything should go into that. Yes, you might need money to travel around the world, but that's not your end goal. If your end goal is to make a lot of money to be a billionaire, then you got a different goal. And like, everyone's open to their own goal. Like for me, I like, I don't like not having money, but I'm not driven by money. I'm more driven by quality of life. So that said, what is your why? Whether it is your personal brand or whether it's a brand you work for, what is your brand's why? Why should people use you? Why should you create this content? Um, the next thing that I say to anyone who wants to grow a social media page, whether it's TikTok or Instagram or, or YouTube, it is what value do you add? Why should a random person from around the world not follow your account? What, like, what do you do? They should eat, like, you can't be that conceited to think people just follow you for the sake of following you. They follow you for a reason. If you, for me, people follow me because I like to think that I maybe inspire them to travel. 
Maybe they like looking at good, like beautiful pictures. Maybe they like looking at art. It makes them feel good. Um, maybe what I do inspires young photographers. Maybe people are inspired by my story. Maybe people, maybe I give people insight. Maybe I teach them how to be businessmen or photographer or a better photographer. Uh, there's multiple reasons why I feel people follow me. But if I was just posting pictures of my cat that I don't actually even own or my shoes, like if I, if I was not providing any value, no one would follow me. Why, why would anyone follow someone or a brand that offers no value? So determine what value you offer people. If you are a, if you are a food company, give tips on food. If you are shoes, like you have running tips, like there's so many different reasons and you can mix it up between being pretty, but back in the day, marketing was this thing. You'd be watching TV or reading a newspaper and you'd scroll through stuff and or not scroll, you'd be watching TV and all of a sudden an ad would come on and you would have to watch it. Unless you went, got up and changed the channel, you would have to watch the ad. And you, it was pretty much a thing of laziness. You're paging through a, a magazine, like you'd get the ad there, you would see it. Like you'd probably skip it, but like it was almost pushed in your face. These days, that's not, I mean, it is marketing still done that on a, on a strange big brand level, but it's so inefficient. People would rather, People rock, like people see your stuff because they want to see your stuff. I like to think people like seeing my promoted posts. Like when I market to people on my personal page, I feel like my followers like seeing it because I only market stuff that adds value. If I'm marketing a new drone, people are keen to see what I'm what drone I'm shooting with. If I'm marketing a running brand, people will be like, hey, this guy runs with this brand, he must think it's good. So we're in this age where marketing is very different it's very specific people opt into it people follow youtube channels that they want if you look at look at the big brands people follow them because they want to and um this brings me to my next point marketing has changed and like i said i don't have a marketing degree but i do understand content i do understand content marketing and for me content marketing is the most important marketing at the moment it everything is around content everything is on social media everything is on online it's all digital it's all there and we've got these incredible tools now back in the day you'd have to just whip it in a in a cosmopolitan or men's health or on some show and hope the right people see it now it's all targeted it's it's specific have you watched the great hack the great hack shows that we're able to market to exactly a certain type of person. I can create a video or pictures that I know that people over 60 of a certain graphic of a certain state that have certain interests will see. I can make a video and create pictures specifically for those people and make sure those exact people see my content. How powerful is that? It, the days and the best thing is we're able to track it all. I can create an ad or a video and I can see how many people have gone through to the website. I can see how many people have bought because of that ad. And then I know, okay, if I put in $10 into this ad, I get $100 revenue. Okay, what if I put 20, will I get 200? So marketing has become so powerful. It's so strategic and so powerful. So bottom line is, have you heard the famous saying? The famous saying is, Fuck, I hope I get I hope I get it right, but more or less it says don't don't buy a man a fish, teach a man how to fish. Have you ever heard that saying? I'm pretty sure everyone has heard that saying. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to fish and fish really well. So think about that. What does it mean to teach someone how to fish? So just disclaimer, while you're having that thought, disclaimer, this is not like, this is just theoretical. Don't, um, like, don't, if I say harpooning a whale, it's, it's metaphorical. So don't, don't think I like, obviously I love wildlife. If I talk about catching a whale, if I talk about catching a sardine, I'm not, I'm not, not caring about the environment. It's more the, the, the concept. So, okay. So environmentalists, don't worry about that. Um, but just for the sake of this, in, this example, I'm going to use terms like that. Okay, so first, 
The basic saying is teach someone how to fish. Don't buy a person a fish. Yes, I get that. That is, that is an incredible, but it's so much deeper than that. What does it mean to fish? So the question is, like if someone asked me that, I'd be like, what do you want to fish? Like, why do you want to fish? What's your why? Why are you fishing? See, it comes back to what's your why? Why are you fishing? Are you fishing to feed your family? Are you fishing as a hobby? Are you fishing to make money? What is your why? Why are you fishing? Okay, cool. You want to create a big business and you want to do well and you want to travel around the world fishing. Okay, cool. These are your options. What fishing do you want to do? So now content marketing is fishing for me. And first you have to ask yourself, okay, what sort of fishing is there? Okay, there's deep sea fishing. You can, you can go harpoon whales, like I said, metaphorical. You can go fish for, for salmon in North America. You can go, you can, you can trawl, which also overfishing, yes, don't do that. You can fly fish, you can fish at the lake, you can fish at the dam, you can fish off the ocean. What type of fishing do you want to do? What, and I'm just saying now, there's so many different methods of content. So videos, pictures, um, TikToks, reels, stories, um, time lapses, um, long videos, short videos. These are all types of fishing. Fishing, so fishing is the perfect example because if you think about it, catching a fish is catching a client or catching a follower. But mainly for this, for argument's sake, let's call it a client. If you catch a client, it's like fishing. So what I'm saying to you is, what clients do you want to catch? What fishing do you want to do? Do you know the pros and cons of each fishing? Okay, cool. Okay, you, you want to explore all options because there's nothing wrong with specializing in one type of fishing, nothing at all. But until you know all the types of fishing, you can't say you want to specialize. Like doctors don't become specialists and then learn everything else afterwards. They go do general and then they specialize once they know about everything. Most doctors shouldn't even choose what they want to specialize in until they know all options. Otherwise, what is like, they might find something else that they like. So the point is, like you can't say you want to go deep sea fish if you live inland. It's just not going to happen. I mean, then you're going to have to move down to the coast. So what I'm saying is, to teach someone how to fish, you have to teach them, give them all the options. What are the options? Okay, cool. Where are we going to fish? What does, what does my landscape look like right now? Where are you? Are you in the desert? Are you in the ocean? Are you in Antarctica? Are you in North America? Are you, are you in a place with lots of well, um, tropical fish with a whole bunch of options? Or are you in a place where you should probably fly fish? Okay, cool. Do you get, you can't catch a whale with a fly fishing rod. So this is my biggest problem with people now is that most brands and they're trying to catch whales. They might be incredible, so they might be incredible photographers or they might be incredible fly fishermen but they're trying to catch a whale with a fly rod it's just not going to happen so if you want to make money you have to explore or do well you have to explore all different options so where are we going to fish how are we going to fish why are we fishing what and then the, the analogy just goes so much further so to teach a man to fish you have to teach him why are you fishing where to fish what what is appropriate do we need to do this for this so I'm going to go and say, if you are a brand and a lot of people are going to hate me for saying this, but I'm just going to be dead honest with you guys, because this is the truth. If you are a photographer and you're just taking pictures that people have been taking for the last 30, 40 years, a standard photographer, a standard product photographer, you might be an incredible photographer that doesn't make you a good content creator. If you just create one style of video, you might be a great DOP or director it doesn't make you a great content creator. If you are just a writer and you just write what people have been writing for ages, you're not a content creator. If you are a brand and you're pushing out the same boring pictures, the same boring video across all the social net networks, you are not doing justice to your content. You are not growing your business. We live in a world if you use a very specific type of marketing, very specific content on a very specific place, 
you can make a huge amount of money. But you need to know what your audience is. You need to know where you're fishing, how to fish, and how to get it. We've been given so many tools. If you, this is why I love social media so much and social media content marketing. The reason, the reason that I absolutely love it is it's not for just photography. It's not just videography. What we have now is the brightest minds in the world developing cutting edge marketing techniques. So there are algorithms, there's data, there's mass amounts of personal data. There's, there's, it's basically a mixture of da data of psychology and of economics. You need to understand all those things. There are so many, there's so much data. Data is probably the most valuable thing in the world right now. You've heard about data protection, data selling, data leaks. Why do you think it's such a big thing? Because all these social media apps that you're on and all your clients are on just basically keeps like score of everything you've done, everywhere you've been, every app you've been on, every photo you've tagged, your heart rate. And basically, these basically social media has basically collects all this data, they mine it and they create profiles. So they can so data so social media can tell, okay, Craig House lives in Cape Town. He likes to travel, he's obviously adventurous, he's in his 30s, he's not yet married, he probably likes toys, so let's market to, and like, he, he likes adventure, he lives in Cape Town, so he must surf, he must be into hiking, mountain. so all the ads I see on my social media should all be geared around adventure, living life, being free. I should be seeing motorbikes, holidays, all this stuff. But I also don't want to see boring holidays. I want to see holidays that people are having fun. People that fit my demographic would want to go and do. So this is what I'm saying to you. Don't, if you are just a brand or a person who just thinks that posting pretty pictures and pretty videos is going to get you follows, it isn't. Some get lucky, some don't. But I'm saying as step one, and I'm going to go into all these things as this course goes on. For me, step one is understanding that you don't understand content. I found out stuff last week that I didn't know about content and I thought I knew everything. I found out stuff a month or two before that and I basically thought I knew everything and I found out new things. So I'm telling you right now, the brightest minds on the world are changing and working on these algorithms and content every single day. Every single day, new stuff comes out. Anyone that tells you that they know content, they don't. They're like, even take it to the extreme. If you look at, at Instagram, they didn't have TikTok. They basically had to, to catch up now. So they had the brightest minds in social media and they thought they knew everything. Next minute, TikTok launches. The same thing had happened with Snapchat. Yes, they caught up, they got, they got bright minds and they have been at front in front at certain stages, but Look how the whole world has changed around these short little reels now. Um, so to leave it there for today, because this has really been 20 minutes, um, pretty much. To leave it there, I just want to summarize. Don't think you understand content marketing yet. Understand the process of understanding content creation. Understand you don't know everything and go out of your way to learn what content marketing is. Find your niche, find what you're good at. Understand you don't know everything. And um, yeah, keep going. I promise you, if you get this right, you can make huge amounts of money. You can travel the world, you can live your dream. And that's, that's really what my dream is, is to help young people, not even young. My goal is to help driven entrepreneurs excel in life like if i if i've helped a couple of young business business uh, men or women into being successful or if i help one or two young creatives into living their dream i feel like i've done something that's more important to me than money and to be honest i want those guys i'm going to be dead honest with you I, one or two of you guys that are watching this you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna turn your business around and i want to be the person you phone be like hey come help us create content so and those are the type of people I want to work with. Young, dynamic people that understand that the world is changing, that trust good creatives, 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There should be another one in the next week, just depending on how much how much feedback I get. I'll probably just do it anyway. I mean, for me, it's actually good to organize my thoughts. Hope you guys are well. Thanks for listening to me talk for 20 minutes. Peace out.